headlight upgrades for your BMW. What do you do when your HID is burnt out and you're sick and tired of replacing inferior HID lights? Well, you do an LED upgrade instead. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Anton, a power engineer, industrial mechanic, and a Red Seal electrician. We cover all kinds of products and topics in an approachable way for the average everyday person. I'm glad you found us. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We just picked up this 2010 BMW 335i with M package for a video that you guys are gonna see in the future. But before we can do that, we need to make sure that this thing is ready for the road. And one of the things that I found out was that neither of my headlights work. And I found that out the hard way driving at night. So today I'm gonna walk you through swapping out the HID headlight system for an easy LED replacement. So let's take a look at what's inside this thing. Now these bulbs came from Amazon and we'll put a link in the description. They're torch beam HID lighting. Does have product instructions, which is actually surprising. I didn't even expect quite that much. There's nothing in there, so it's not as surprising as you would think. And then this is our first look at the bulb. These are D1S replacement bulbs. So if you have a D1S style HID headlight, then these are a direct replacement using the factory wiring so it's just got one bulb and another bulb oh and if you pull out the protection you've got some fancy gloves i'm gonna wear these the reason i'm wearing these is because it's actually still winter in canada it's freezing cold i got the furnace on and it's really loud and my hands are getting a little bit cold so these are actually for protecting the bulb so that you're not getting greasy fingerprints on the LED it's not as important with LED bulbs as it is with HID and halogen bulbs, but it's nice that they in traditional style are including these for you. So now it's time to go to the car, pull the old bulb out, put the new one in, and then we're gonna do an alignment as well. I'm gonna show you guys that because a lot of you guys probably don't know how to do that. And this car definitely needs it. So we're gonna do it and I'll show you guys how same time. Now to do the headlights, you actually are gonna go through the fender liner right over here. So I'm gonna start the car and turn the wheel to give us a little more access. Now there's still limited space in here, but we need to get this fender liner out. You're gonna remove it using a combination of seven millimeter screws, eight millimeter screws, and one 10 millimeter screw. If you need extra space, you can always take the tire off, but I'm gonna try and do this without the tire off. Now we're gonna try and take a look at where all these screws are so you guys can see, but it's really tight in here. You're not gonna see a whole lot. So there's screws at the back there. There's one up in here. There's also some inside this fender liner right here. So there's one there and there's one up there. But underneath this air dam here, there's also some lining the front edge right here, all the way up along there. Here's the collection of all the ones that we took out. So you can kind of see what all they are. But once you've got them all, then you can peel this down. And in my case, I'm gonna just push this just like that so we can expose this cover right here, which is where the light is inside. Now you're gonna need some Torx bits to undo the screws there. Next thing we wanna do is remove the connector by lifting this clip up. And then we can remove the clip that holds the light into position by pushing in the clip near the top and slide it to the left. Then it'll pull down and the bulb pulls out you should be left with this right here. Now this is the same as this, which is gonna go in its place. So we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna just put that right back where it came from, just like that. And then this will just go right back where it was. When you're putting that clip back in, you have to push it quite far to get it to clip, but make sure it's clipped in there really well. And then you can put the connector in and then make sure that piece is bent back into place so it doesn't come unplugged by accident. The next thing I like to do is turn the lights on and just test that it works before I close it all up. Now that we've verified that the light works, I'm gonna button this side all up and I'm gonna do the exact same thing 
for the other side, and then we're gonna check the headlight alignment. So I'm not gonna show you guys the other headlights, it's exactly the same thing. So we've got both headlights installed now, they're tested, they're working, everything's buttoned back up. It's time to check the alignment. So the way that you normally are gonna do that is by parking your car against a white wall of some sort or a light colored wall, and then just shining your headlights on it. Now, as you can see, I don't really have a light wall, but I do have this door over here. And I'm gonna try and put that over here so we can shine it against that. Now, you guys don't need to be a genius to see that light looks pretty okay. This light looks really low. So hopefully I've got a measuring tape in here somewhere and I do. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do to check my lights. So I measure the distance from the ground to the light. And you guys can see, I have about 23 inches here. So if I sum over here and measure, I have about 24 inches. So that's the center line of the car. And if I go over here, I can see this one's probably okay. So it's sitting, the top of it is about 24 inches. If I come over here, it's really nowhere close. So over here, if we're looking at the top of kind of the light, it's hitting at 16. I need to bring it up to 24. The way I'm gonna do that on this is, there's this guy right here. As you turn this, it adjusts the headlight. So you guys can see if I turn it here, you can see the headlight moving down. You gotta turn it a lot to make it move, but there you can see it's moving down. I want it to go up, so I'm gonna turn it the other way. And you can see I've got the 24 inch mark there. Now I've been turning it and it's not moving here. So what I found was the assembly in here is a little bit binding. So you can see there, if I tap the headlight here, it'll move up. So there, now I'm close to the 24. So I can adjust this a little bit more and then tap it. Now I'm right around where I wanna be, right at about 23, 24 inches, but it's a lot better than before. This side is still slightly lower, which isn't a bad thing. That's where oncoming traffic's gonna be coming. But ideally, I wanna get right on the same adjustment. So if your housing's not broken, you should be able to get it to the right setting. Now these lights, because they have the same bulb for low beam and high beam, when we go to high beam, it just lifts the shutter up out of the way. So I'm gonna try flipping the high beams on. And we'll see if the shutter still moves right. So there's high beams on, there's high beams off, and you can see we're pretty close to where we want to be. And the final result here, I mean, you can't argue with that. That is a very nice, consistent white LED light. And these things will shine a lot better than those old tired HIDs did for sure. Now, if you're curious, how come these lights aren't coming on? These are actually cornering lights. They only turn on when you're in gear and turning hard left or hard right to light up where you're going. They've got those slits in there to make it so that the light can kind of shine that way. So it's really only those two outside lights that you're gonna have on. And our installs is complete. Now it's time for me to go have some fun in this car. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments down below. If you do want lights like what we've got here or any other accessories for your car, I'll put links in the description where you can pick up the ones that I got. Hopefully this helped you out. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.